Hey guys, it's just a little cloth here today, and so this monster analysis video, we are going to be going over Captain Alvid, and I'm going to be telling you guys why you should get her out of her current breeding event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Captain Alvid is going to be a support and attacker, and she has a trait of sudden death immunity at rank 0, and at rank 1 she gets sunburn immunity, and at rank 3 she gets evasion. So her first two are terrible, but her third one is actually really good. So try to get her to rank 3 if you're going to use her. And then her relics are sword and sword which are pretty great then if we go on down to her pros and cons she's got great supportive effects and evasion stamina regen damage boost double damage and triple damage which are all really good and of course the damage boost ones will be great for bounty hunts and then she has a water moves despite being a fire monster she's got tons of annoying effects including possession which is great she has fire weakness and water weakness to boost her damage output from burn and drown she also has great speed she's got low stamina costs and cooldowns on battle moves she has insane status caster and diverse move pool and of course the status caster means her evasion and then her cons are a horrible trait besides status caster which is very true she also has terrible life and power which is kind of true and she has bad relic slots which honestly i don't think that's really true sword and sword are pretty good and no negative effect removal which is kind of a problem and then if we go down to her moves we're gonna look at her support moves first she has a team triple damage which is amazing she also has an ally double damage with evasion which can be great for bounty hunts and so can the triple damage actually just as a team damage boost with precision and stamina regen and she has a possession and poison so honestly the best use of this monster is of course bounty hunts as i keep saying she is very very good for bounty hunts she can work in pvp as well but she is definitely meant for bounty hunts and then her attacker skill set is going to be a fire weakness zero cooldown which is pretty good also a fire weakness burn a water weakness drown and this one right here which is the possession possession and poison and instead of the zero cooldown fire weakness move you could always use either the triple damage or double damage move and yeah those are her best moves so yeah i do think that the attacker one is better if you're not going to use her in a bounty hunt but if you want to use her in a bounty hunt definitely go ahead and use the support move set and then get two other attackers with better moves and yeah then you can go ahead and boost your teammates a bunch with all these damage boost moves so let me know down in the comments if you end up getting this monster out of her current breeding event i was using the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye